Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Guys of Glass podcast. And uh, I'm no name Josh. Cassie. It's Robert. Uh, I can't see my finger pointed <laughs> at him. <laughs> so, uh, Robert, I'm going to let you talk first because I think you got to play the coolest game out of all of us so far. Disagree with that, but okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I got to play Evolve, uh, the Alpha, um, over the weekend and. Super exciting game. Um, it's really hard to get like the basics down when you're first starting, but uh, you know, it's just crazy. I mean, super great detail and graphics and everything. You're basically uh, five people play five people play at a time, and you have one monster and then four humans, and basically you're trying to. Uh, the humans are trying to hunt the monster and kill him before he evolves to stage three and destroys the reactor. <laughs> and uh, that's just crazy because there's he's not the only monster too. There's other monsters that are around that cause problems. Like I randomly, if you startle these um, smaller monsters, they set off this like electrical charge and it hurts you randomly. Oh, weird. So. Yeah, normally they're docile, like, friendly, but if you, like, come out of nowhere and shoot around them, then they freak out and they set off that charge, and then, yeah, it killed me one time, and then I just <laughs> stopped playing. <laughs> but, uh... You were, like, you talked a little bit about it before we started, and uh, you were saying it's like a movie, and I think that's a really cool, like, aspect to it. Yeah, it is, uh... It's just the way it is, because it's it's... It feels almost like when you're like watching like aliens, yeah, like, or predator, yeah, or predator, where you're hunting each other, and it's just <laughs> crazy. It's not like just a one-way kind of thing where you're just chasing after the bad guy, the computer, yeah. and they kind of do the same thing over and over again. Every match is completely different. So, when you played it, did you think it was fair? Like, because a lot of those four-on-one or three-on-two kind of games like it feels really lopsided one way or the other did you guys did you have any problems with that um from what i played it didn't seem too bad uh it's just really hard to get used to the whole control um but no i didn't think it was really lopsided one way or another i think they did a good job trying to balance it out yeah it, it was so, Turtle Rock's the same guys who did Left 4 Dead, and that's the way I always felt about Left 4 Dead. It was always either one side completely dominated or the other side completely did, depending yeah. on... Yeah. Well, I mean, depending on the level, so... I, I mean, they only have one level in the alpha, right? Yeah, one level and yeah. only one monster you can play. Yeah. So. There's supposed to be some really cool monsters in the, in the retail build. I'm excited to see it. Yeah. I am excited as well. <laughs> it is going to be awesome. Definitely going to buy it. It looks pretty rad. I, I'm i just wary of it, I guess, because Left 4 Dead just put a bad taste in my mouth as per like, uh, multiplayer games that are like that. Yeah, I didn't really like the Left 4 Dead multiplayer. I just played it for the campaign and, well, and yeah, just playing with people through the campaign, not yeah. against each other. Yeah, I guess the co-op was fun. The competitive wasn't that fun. Yeah, so, it was annoying. Yeah. Like, there was all sorts of glitches they didn't fix, like pushing carts into the way of certain things. And Anyway, regardless, I'm excited to see what they do, because the first Left 4 Dead was good. And uh, I don't know if they made the second one, but I don't know. We'll see. And then me and you, I know what we've been playing. Lots of Civilization Beyond Earth. Well, maybe not lots, but we did play quite a bit. As much as we've been able to with me being in school and, and being in work. Uh, the game is awesome. Okay, so we tried playing it right away as multiplayer. <laughs> but it, it is a lot different than uh, regular Civ, than like Civ Five, Because like the web and everything is completely different. Where like the skills and stuff, the shit you're learning. Yeah, your techs. And you, the way you work with like the aliens and the other 
civilizations and stuff, it's a very different thing. Plus, you don't know what your resources are anymore. I don't know. Still don't know what some of them are for. Yeah, I know. We played a ton of it. She's, like, trading me resources. I'm like, I have no idea what these are for yet. Like, <laughs> yeah. And we, you know, we played through, like, what? A couple of online couple games? Hours yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but we started out playing multiplayer. We had to stop and play by ourselves for a little while to try to figure out some of the stuff that was going on. <laughs> yeah, the like, tutorial. I don't know what to do now. And I'm like, oh, I should be able to play this no problem because I've played like 500 hours of Civilization. And no, I couldn't do it. I had to have the tutorial. Please show me some of the stuff. Yes. It's really, really in-depth. Like, but... I don't know, they said like, oh, the al you remember when we went to that PAX panel, they said you're going to have to treat the aliens differently than barbarians and everything, and yeah, yada, yada, yada. Well, it, they're barbarians, basically. <laughs> they're not as... They don't directly attack you. Like, they don't come into your land and attack you. It's when you get close to their nests that they start to attack you, but their yeah. nests kind of pop up everywhere. Yeah. So there'll be like hundreds of beetles and shit like, and, trying yeah, to attack there's you. Tons of, and there's these giant siege worms that just fucking bulldoze your shit, man. Kill now, like three dudes at once. Did it uh, work out the same way that they described at the panel where the more those um, like nests and stuff that you take out, the more yes. the bigger monsters come out? Yes. There's giant sea dragons for josh and krakens yeah because I, I have not been i've been trying to avoid killing the aliens because i don't want them to rape me they, they killed my explorer and my soldier and i was like fuck these bitches <laughs> i'm killing them all it's really funny because i have like the the harmony affinity is like what i'm building towards and i'm just mowing oh, through geez. aliens and it's just amazing yeah it doesn't really fit very but well. i'll tell you what the sea dragon's a bitch. <laughs> my guy, is, I didn't even know he was there. I swam out in the water to save my dudes, and all of a sudden this sea dragon comes Dude, out of nowhere. And they look so me. cool. The kraken came up to yeah to for Josh, and it just looks awesome. The detail and the different way the aliens look and stuff, it's really cool. Yeah. Um, I've been having more problem with the other civilizations already because there's just something about the way I play that I always get. Attacked. People declaring war on me for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> uh, so that happened. The Slavic guy in the game is a bitch. Yeah. Well, it's actually pretty cool that... So you're not playing as countries anymore, obviously. But you're playing as, like, um, different, like, packs from the... From Earth. So you're, like, uh... Ark, which is, like, the Americas. And you have, like, like the Slavic... Union, which is like Russia and that kind of and stuff. Pan Asia. And yeah, stuff Pan like Asia that. and India and some other stuff. You know, it's like it's really interesting. And then you can choose. So you land in a ship, and that's like your first city. <clears throat> but you can choose like uh, a special ability, like retrograde boosters, allows you to land your city in a wider area, or you get more culture, or you get. Uh, you start off with energy because you have energy instead of like money. Yeah. Because you need energy to run all your shit. Uh, and it's cool instead of just planting your, getting a settler and then planting a city, you plant an outpost and you have to grow your outpost into a city. You have to protect it. It's oh, okay. easy to be taken. It's kind of awesome. Interesting. It, it looks like the outpost from uh, like, what the hell, uh, Starship Troopers. Like, this oh, is like okay. the little, a little square with like, you know, protective walls, but that's like it. And, uh, nice. Yeah, they can get, uh, yeah, you, attacked early on and taken from There's actually a virtue boost that you can, or there's one that you can get that when, if you attack an outpost, you can turn it into your own and stuff. Yeah. Oh, nice. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. I, I enjoy it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, there's so many, like, so, with the different affinities that you can go to towards, there's harmony, supremacy, and purity. Yep. And there's even, like, different military units you can get for each affinity. Yeah. Which is really, really cool. And, 
there's so many awesome nods to like other sci-fi stuff like yeah, different if you kill enough stuff. aliens it says uh, the only good bug is a dead bug <laughs> you know a little starship trooper nod starship trooper. and uh uh what else is there oh uh the brawler for because you can upgrade your soldiers so he goes from like regular soldier to marine and then depending on your affinity you can upgrade him to be like a brawler or something else and a something else but the brawler looks like the brotherhood of steel guy like i, I just think oh it's really interesting yeah oh that's uh, awesome like there's just like all sorts of tiny little nods to to uh, other sci-fi stuff yeah it's really fun i feel like i can play forever and not you know still not do everything in the game you know all the different stuff you can learn and do all that different stuff it's going to be different for a really long time yeah it's... i will play the crap out of it because i play the crap out of civ 5 and still even when i played as the same culture every time i still loved playing it so I even though she one. got her ass handed to her by you know germany when i played and... by myself i did it <laughs> like it was always so funny Joshua because it wanted would just to be... play on a king or emperor it would always happen where she would end up with like four civs surrounding her and it'd be like me and one other guy on one island <laughs> yeah and then i have to like float guys across the ocean to gift her it was always fun but i think this game is going to be awesome over the next couple of years because they're going to add in all sorts of new stuff just like they did with civ 5 you know and like the brave new world and all that stuff yeah yeah, I feel like it's good. Oh, something I didn't, we didn't see at PAX really at all was the quests. Those quests are awesome. So, like, uh, some of them are find resource pods that were sent there ahead of you, and you get, like, a bonus. Or you'll get, like, a, you get to choose. Uh, you know, we found this relic on board, this resource pod. Do you want it open to the public? And it gives you, like, two, uh, culture or do you want to close it off and do yeah, research science. on it and you gain science and there's like oh, that's cool. all sorts of those different things like you can find uh people who are augmented in like crash sites and stuff and it like tells you do you want them to settle or do you want to allow them into your cities or do you want them to basically live figure it out on their own and depending on how you choose depends on like uh future things so you can like uh, move more towards supremacy? Yeah, supremacy. Yeah, which is like augmenting your people and mm -hmm. yeah. stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Now how's their uh, their random the map generator? Does it seem fairly uh, um, well, they're all well, we've only played random. No, I chose last time. What'd you choose? I chose a Lush World Olavana. So we've only played on Lush, because we played two games on Lush. So I didn't know that the second time, because she set it up, so uh, I don't know yet. We'll have to come back to that. But, yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, no, because the last one we played was on Random. The first one. Yeah, we I know, played... but it ended up on Lush, because well... it chooses the map. No, when we were playing on, well, at least where I was at wasn't, it was all, like, craggy and stuff no. where I was. I was just curious, just because, uh, I know, like, in Civ 5, I always hated when it was like, oh, random map generator, let's make everything islands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's and, why I never yeah. did random map. I always just chose, like, Earth or Continents. Yeah, it's so far the random thing hasn't screwed us. How about that? It's okay. not like a chain of tiny islands, so that yeah. you can't do anything. Oh, they have that one, though. You could do that. Yeah, so far, though, the random hasn't landed us on that. Because that would be awful. I hate tiny islands. Yes. It's the worst. Especially oh. when you're moving through the waterways and you, like, work your way all the way up to a dead end and then have to oh, move yeah. the guy all the way back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. I hate it when you're on this tiny island, and the only other island anywhere near you has a city state on it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what's so funny about it is, uh, like, in this game, it's completely different because you could run into a fucking kraken or a stupid yeah. sea dragon and be totally boned if you're yeah. on yeah. that. The city states are different, too. They're not, like, regular city states. They're 
just um, they're stations. Yeah, they're like so uh, they're like bases that you can trade with. And then after a little while, they'll go away and they'll move. Yeah, oh, okay. and it's pretty cool. Yeah, like it'll be like, oh, Far they're, Base One just landed. Yeah, they're not and... annoying bitches like city states. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to like maintain your friendship by giving them money and doing crap for them. But you can, like, build favors and stuff, doing stuff for the other civilizations, civs, which is really cool. That is a cool aspect, and I have not been able to call in any favors yet, so... <laughs> I, I, the other game we were playing, the one that we decided to start over, I had done one, and it was pretty cool. I didn't call in a favor, I gained a favor. Well, I know, that's what I'm saying. I gained a favor, but I haven't, uh, I haven't, like, called one in, like, you have to declare war on him, you owe me, which I think would be awesome. Yeah. I should totally, like, shadow, like, puppet somebody else into attacking you. Don't That'd do be that. hilarious. It would not be funny. <laughs> it would be very rude. But it's kind of cool because your different affinities will get you different artilleries and stuff like that. Yeah. And I don't know. Right now, it feels like you can get a ton of hours out of it, and it's just vanilla right now. So I think as time goes on and they add more... It'll be another 500 hour game, you know? Yeah. I mean, especially yeah. with just the the way that they... The tech tree that they built. Mm -hmm. I mean... It's... There are so much yeah. stuff. Like the oh, Rocket it's... Octopus thing. That was... I'm the... almost there! The Rocktopus? The Rocktopus, yeah. Josh is uh, so excited for that. I, I literally just, like, as soon as I found it on the web, I was like, how is the quickest way I can get to that <laughs> fucking thing? There's so. one where instead of... I have... Because you don't have like horses and stuff, you can ride the bugs. Yeah, you can. Oh, nice. You have to learn alien domestication, and then you can learn alien cavalry. That's awesome. <laughs> like that's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty rad. Uh, I'm there's so a, yeah, there's a lot of like cool little stuff that is in there. Uh, I don't know. I just it's fun. I really like I really it. like it. And then or oh, I'm gonna play this shit out of it this next weekend too. Yeah. We were up pretty late playing it last night. My review of, of Alien would have been out a lot earlier had I not been shitting my pants every time I played it. <laughs> it's just so nerve-wracking. I understand why people say it wears out its welcome because it does go on for a long time, but... Man, I want to poop my pants every time I'm playing it because it is... It's just... You never know like who's around the next corner. Because you have the motion sensor, so you're not sure if it's the alien, or another person, or fucking robots. So, you just never know, and I, I finally finished the review because, whew. Is, Are they robots or are they androids? They're androids, but whatever. It's, it's the they're... same damn thing. <laughs> to, well, I guess it's not, but whatever. Uh, it's just funny because uh, the androids are like, what's his face? David? No, um, not David. Uh, the, 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 it's Halloween. Uh, Mike Myers. They, no. they, they don't run at you or anything. They just walk at you. And you, no matter how fast you run away, it always feels like they're right the fuck behind you. <laughs> you turn around and you're like, ah! It's Michael Myers. Michael Myers? Mike Myers is it? I know, Austin I know. Myers. I sh <laughs> Yeah, that's what I had to say. Ah, uh, but it's so funny, like... I tried to fight one, and I don't know how, but all of a sudden there was like six of them. And I tried to get into the vent, and the guy like killed me. It was <laughs> sad. But oh, you can't kill him. You just have to stun and run. There ain't no other way about it. And if you get seen by the alien, you're fucked. And he's clever, also. He, he tricked me a couple of times. I felt like a fool. The <laughs> alien did? Yeah, so I was like hiding in this, like, uh, uh, locker, and all you can see is out the little vents. Yeah. And so I see him, like, walk by, and then he, like, sniffs around, and I'm like, you have to hold your breath. Like, it actually, like, has a oh, trigger. Jesus. You're like... And then he walked by, and I was like, oh, thank God. Maybe he's gone. Maybe he's gone. And I pulled out my little thing, and it shows no motion. And I'm like, hell yeah. So I, like, hop out of the locker... As I, like, turn to the left, he's standing, like, right out of my <laughs> sight line. Just standing there chilling. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. It reminded me of Jurassic Park, you know, when he's like, clever girl, and he gets eaten. So yeah. I felt like. He did it to me twice, and then after that, I, like, you know, oh, it was terrible. 
And if you have that stupid motion tracker out and he hears it, you are boned. He will rip you out of a locker and eat your ass. There's a beep sound around with that. Yeah, because the beeping draws him. I also hate when you go to throw a noisemaker and it hits the corner of something and it doesn't work at all. <laughs> Does the opposite of what you want it to do? It's... I don't know how I would explain it. It's like dead space if you didn't have a gun. Like, just... Yeah. Terrifying? Yeah. Dead space is scary as hell. Because you can hear them moving around in the vents all around you, and you hear the stupid androids. It's I can't creepy. play those games. They give me anxiety. I, it's, that's why I could, I was like, I'm going to be streaming it tonight, and then I played like an hour and ten minutes of it. I was like, I'm done with this. I'm going to have a heart attack otherwise. <laughs> It's, it's pretty creepy. I want to play it, but... Yeah. I don't want to play it. What's cool is, is that it's a great, uh, like, game for other people to watch, too. Yeah. Uh, I was talking to Jesse and, like... Watched it for a little bit. And his... Yeah, and you watched it, and his buddy and his brother were playing, and they were, like, <laughs> following along. Oh, shit! Oh, God, he's gonna come out! Dude, you just gotta... Just gotta hide! Just gotta <laughs> hide! You know, like... Both of them are freaking out, and Jesse's like, I couldn't even watch. I had to walk away. It was making me so damn yeah, nervous. Yeah, that's the perfect kind of game to have on Twitch, too. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a great game for Twitch, yeah. Because you can get that holy shit feeling by just seeing what's going on. and Like when you're hiding under a desk, and you can just see the feet going by, and you're like, Oh god, <sighs> please don't look under here. It's pretty rad. I don't know, it's... But... It does wear on. It wears on for quite a long time, and I, I can't remember. It's funny. And Nick was asking me. He's like, "Yeah, I don't really want a game to last more than like ten hours." And I'm like, "Oh, it's only like I think I've only got like eight into it, six into it, something like that." And I'm like, "It already feels too long. Like <laughs> it makes me want to have a heart attack. It's horrible." But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. It's one of those games you have to play in like segments. Yes. Yes. It's, well, basically, I completed a mission and it was like, alright, I'm gonna turn it off. <laughs> I'll pick that up later on. This <laughs> is just horrifyingly terrible. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And there's some pretty cool, like, little interesting things like, how the fuck did the alien get on the thing? And also, why the hell are the robots evil? I swore they were programmed with the do not kill humans thing, but who knows? I don't know what's <laughs> going on. I haven't found the mysteries. Well, I have, but you guys haven't. Whatever. It's creepy. Uh, yeah. I guess that's it for this, right? Everybody's done? You guys all played just that. Robert's kind of a lame ass. He doesn't have any money. He just moved. Yeah. That's, that's why it's all empty on the back wall. <laughs> just a bag yep. and a shelf. That's why it looks like a closet. <laughs> uh... Yeah, and we've just been. Hey man, pulling. perfect closet. It's a perfect place to do a podcast. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, he's not in a closet. He's I in know. his living room. He's not in a closet. <laughs> so, I want to talk about some big news. Well, maybe not big news, but it's interesting because Microsoft just laid off a shitload of people canceling that. Like, uh, I can't remember the name of the stupid studio, but they got rid of, like, a bunch, a bunch of people. Yeah. That we're doing the TV stuff. And then they buy Minecraft for two and a half billion dollars. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? What is the plan behind that is all I think. Like, do you guys think that's a good thing? Or just it's stupid? It's good for the Minecraft people that are getting two and a half billion dollars now. This is true. I'm curious what they're it's... gonna do with it. Uh, yeah, what are you supposed to do with my... I mean... I mean, I guess there's tons of people that play it. I don't know. I just think it's stupid. <laughs> there's gonna be, like, ads in the sky yeah. and stuff. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Horizon <somewhere>. Wireless. <laughs> it's gonna be, like, watching Hulu. Uh, <laughs> you hate to watch the movies, but, or shows, but you still have to watch the commercials in between them. Yeah. <laughs> well, it'll just be, like, all the background stuff will be that. You'll be, like, digging, and, like, you find, like, a whole <laughs> sign underground that's, like, Need for Speed Most Wanted, coming out <laughs> November 11th. You're like, fuck! Or like yeah, banners exactly. on the trees or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the clouds in the sky. I mean, I don't know how they're going to recoup that money. Like, it just doesn't... Make any sense? It doesn't seem possible, yeah. 
I, I don't see maybe it as being a, like a system well, seller yeah, either. Yeah, no, well, in a couple years ago, maybe, when it was first... It's starting to blow up? Yeah, but yeah. now it's already kind of tail end of it. Well, it's not like ta Well, I mean, I don't know where the populate... But have you ever played Minecraft? I have. I have too. I don't get the draw behind it. It's kind of like Legos, which is cool, but I don't know. I don't it's... like to play games that look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I, I think it's just that, like, throwback kind of bit graphics with build whatever the hell you want. Because I think it, I think it is cool seeing some of, the, like, some of the things that people make, like the full-scale replicas of, uh, like, the Enterprise and stuff yeah. like that. And... Or Paris. Some yeah. Shit. yeah. It's insanity. I, I don't know. We have too much time on our hands, man. Well, holy hell, dude. It's you guys crazy, should have huh? seen... What was it? Far Cry 2? They Somebody remade Helm's Deep from <laughs> Two Towers. It was massive. <laughs> I was like, I built this tiny level and it took me forever to finish. Yeah. I don't even want to know how long this guy spent building this thing. It was, it even had like the explosives to blow up the, the little the water gate. ditch so you could blow up. Yeah, he could blow a hole in the wall. Oh yeah. Awesome. I, yeah, just had to have been so much time. Well, I think it's cool too. Is like they'll, they like pull up all the blueprints and then they'll hide like section like. Uh, assign people sections to build and they oh, just yeah. build a specific section of that um, blueprint or whatever yeah it's it's pretty it's cool but I just can't get into it I don't know I just it's a cool idea yeah. yeah yeah like I just don't I guess I don't have the like time and patience to sit down and like pick away at like a million stones for it's stupid because i mean that's kind of what civ is really like you're putting in that time and you're not really i mean i guess you're accomplishing something yeah i don't know i guess it's kind of like all games but it's just i don't know why it doesn't pull me in it's just something that i'm not interested in uh, but like I, I i still don't understand how microsoft spends that much money on that game and then just abandons like their bad TV choice. section. I'm telling you it's a bad choice. Because I would have much rather had that TV thing than uh, I Mario. would love to see a Halo show. If there was a I Halo have... show, I'd watch that shit all the time. Dude. Yeah. Well, I would thought you, that's, what they're, uh, that's what they're doing, aren't they? Well, they canceled, They closed down that whole studio that was working on that. And they, like, and they handed it off to off. some other company. Uh, but I don't okay. know... I don't know how that's gonna work. The red versus blue or whatever. No, it wasn't to have rooster teeth. Oh. It's to somebody else. It's like a actual like big, oh. like Fox Studios or something, you know. I'm gonna watch the red versus blue. <laughs> but this is a live action show. Like you would actually, it would be like The Walking Dead, but oh. you know, Halo. And I think it could be awesome because Halo needs to do a space battle game because they have. In the books, I know this is really nerdy, but they have ma amazing space battles, and I'm like, I just want to fight aliens like this. Yeah, this is Josh just... listens to the books on his Kindle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, how awesome would this shit be if you could just like get in these huge firefights against like a, basically an overwhelming force, and I, I think it'd be really fun. But that would be something you could put in a TV show that would look awesome. Yeah. But I don't know how much money you have to spend, you know, to do the visuals on it. Yeah. AMC or Fox. Yeah, I have no idea. Style? Not sci-fi. Not sci-fi? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But then they could have then Sharknado. Have yeah, they did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it would be amazing. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm excited for this whole month, though. Because the upcoming shit is going to be bomb. Uh, what do we got? We got this Tuesday, we got uh, Advanced Warfare coming out. Which, I do want to get into a little bit of this. Uh, are you guys... Would you be interested to buy a Advanced Warfare console? Because it has double the space. It has one terabyte in it. Um... 
Because I have like four games on my console right now, and I'm almost at 50% of my total hard drive. Yeah. All my games are on the computer. That's the same so thing just, on yeah. my Xbox also. Yeah, it's, it's... It's irritating. It's... Yeah, I'm like, okay, so... I don't know, it, it's just... And with every month you download two new games, like, if, if they're decent on the Games for Gold yeah. thing, it just starts eating up more and more space, like, I downloaded... Good thing it's... they're not usually very decent, then. What are you talking about? Super Time Force was on last okay, month, I and guess that game's true. fucking that game awesome. awesome. Uh, but they're not as good as the PS4 ones. The PS4 ones are awesome. Yeah, it's, I, I think the PS4 indie games are way better. Well, their their games with PlayStation Plus or whatever is is awesome too. Like you get to play, like they had on their infamous Second Son. That's like a thirty dollar game still. You yeah. Know? Yeah. It's not a like basically Microsoft's like any game ten dollars and under is available it's been for out for a billion years now. Yeah, like they had Halo Three on there not that long ago. I was like, come on, come on Xbox, let's let's get this shit together. But I don't know. But would you be interested in buying it? Because it comes bundled with the the oh, game. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, if I didn't have the one already, one already, I would probably just buy it. I, I would buy the. I usually never buy any of the bundled edition consoles or whatever you want to call them. Josh buys just... them all. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but, yeah, I'm a weirdo. But because it does come with the extra heart, the extra space, I probably would. Well, I, I could see it justifiable. Yeah, if you could sell your current one for enough to kind of like make up the difference, I guess. But the thing to me is, is when is Microsoft going to allow you to have an external hard drive? Is that coming up with the Advanced Warfare thing? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, they have that super speed. USB slot, I mean, you could run, like, a badass uh, external drive through that thing. That'd be awesome. Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's weird, it's... I'm surprised that they didn't, uh, have that as an option just, uh, like, from the get-go. Uh, yeah, you would think, because... All over the place. Well, I feel like last generation there was all those like external hard drives you could buy right yeah i feel like they had to have made a bunch of money off of those like it just doesn't seem no like they wouldn't i guess i mean if they made it microsoft branded and sold it they could sell it an extra hard drive for probably triple what they buy it for yeah it's, it's uh... kind of a necessary thing to have for a lot of people yeah I well, I mean, it will be. Soon enough, it'll when be, like, there's actually super necessary. Cause well, that's the thing, too, is, like, if you're a person that buys lots of games or whatever, because the only reason that I still have space is because I only have two games for the Xbox One and yeah. whatever free games that they put out. But when they require you to install the game on your freaking console, then... It gets ridiculous. Well, it's like uh, Forza. Forza, the game itself, oh. is like 14 gigs, and then it's like, update, 22 gigs. You're like, oh, yeah. what the fuck? All the car packs right? and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it looks so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just don't... Uh, I don't see why they would not release it right away. Not be... Maybe they were trying not to look like jerks. Like, uh... Oh, we knew that the 500 gig wasn't going to be big enough, so here's the one terabyte external, you know. Yeah. We're just trying to know. play it off as like, Oh, look at this. We're trying to help you guys out kind of thing. Yeah. 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 I don't Versus know. Versus we planned on it and <laughs> trying to rape you for more money. Yeah, exactly. Well, they have to make up that $2.5 billion now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just don't, I don't understand that. It infuriates me. Uh, just spending that much money on one game seems insanity. But that's just my thing. Like, 
I don't know. Speaking of that, do you want to talk about Destiny and uh, their adding on stuff? Uh, so Mark argued with me. Okay, so have you seen what they're doing with the new Destiny stuff? The two bundles that are coming up to continue the story are 20 bucks a piece. Oh, uh... There's one on just... December 9th and then one in early 2015. Yeah, I, I saw that it was coming out. I didn't know it was going to be... I guess it's not too bad. Well, um, depends on how much content they release with it. So this is my problem. That game doesn't have a lot of content in the first place. You play the same mission. I mean, there's like a total of like maybe 20, 30 missions tops, and they're all like a half an hour or so. Yeah. So you got 15 hours out of that game, which is more than a normal single player. But when you say this is an MMO shooter. Like, could you imagine playing through World of Warcraft and getting a whopping 15 hours out of it, and then no. it being done? Like, it yeah, just seems that's... to me. Yeah, that was the thing. It was like, when I first... That's like... I don't know. It, World of Warcraft, it took like an entire month or whatever of me playing like two or three hours every other day or whatever to get to a point where I did most of the story. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, and that's the other thing that pisses me off. Okay, fine. If you don't want to release the content to us, like the the extra strikes and stuff like that, I think that everybody who bought it deserves to get the story bits. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, everybody should know what the story is throughout instead of just certain people knowing it. It makes me want to, uh, you know, just basically not buy it and watch it on Twitch, like, or watch it on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Because by the end of, like, January or February, it'll be a $100 game, and I don't feel like it's worth the $100. Mm -hmm. It's not a big enough world, and I, I don't know. No. Well, how do you it's, feel about it? Uh, it's, I mean... They would have to, each of those, like, expansions that they put out would have to basically be, like, the whole, like, the entire game in itself, like, as an extension. Yeah. And still only be, like, 20 bucks for me to think it would be Cause, I, I mean, I under, Mark said, oh, well, Anthony's put in 200 hours already. So isn't that worth the 60 bucks? Maybe, but not really, because he did the same missions over and over again. It didn't take them yeah, any extra it, time to complete the... You know and that's I mean? the thing, too, is, like, because you can... It's not like it's a different story for or different areas that you start out with. You do the same exact thing over and over again, just with a different class. And yeah. So you have different skills, but same story. Like, other MMOs usually start in a different area based on your race or whatever mm -hmm. and then you do those particular uh, quests that you wouldn't normally do with another group and then once you hit the main plot is when you do similar yeah I, so. I don't know well my question is has he put 200 hours into this me because he really enjoys what he's doing or is it because there's no one not really any other shooters out on the Xbox One right now. <sighs> All right. So, uh, sorry, Robert. Your laptop died. <laughs> and uh, it oh, is man. Robert's fault. It is Robert's fault. It's always Robert's fault. Usually. Okay. So we're just gonna end the conversation about Destiny. I think it's bullshit that they're gonna charge everybody for the story parts. But uh, let's move on. Are you excited for Assassin's Creed? Either one of them, Rogue or Unity. I, I'd probably play Unity. Excited. Are you gonna play Unity with me? I will play Unity with you. Sweet. So. I, I love I'm, Assassin's Creed. It's beautiful. I like them. I'm just tired of the whole like the single player thing over and over and over again. And so I think it'll be really fun with the multiplayer and having yeah. everybody being able to play as one. The what, what I think is really cool is, is they're going back to the Assassin's Creed 1 where getting in fights with guards is a very poor idea. Like, yeah. You know, like, 
uh, what was it, um, the Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, you could just, like, mow through, yeah. oh, like, yeah. a thousand fucking soldiers yeah. and it wouldn't even, like, put a dent in you, so. I could, and I am not very good at those games. <laughs> I could just, I don't know. So I'm glad they're gonna get away from that aspect of it. Yeah, I'm excited. I, this is, like, the first multiplayer game in a while that I actually will play. Because I don't usually want to play, like, online or do any of that stuff. I think it'll be fun to fuck with each other. Because yeah. I think you have to do, like, you know, coordinated events yeah. kind of thing, and it would just be really funny to, like, run up and push Nick off the roof or something. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. I hope that stuff like that is available, just to be a troll. But, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, everything looks beautiful in that game. They made a quarter of the all buildings open to the character to go through. Yeah, oh, I mean really? that's massive. Yeah, it's yeah, awesome. It's gonna be <sighs> sweet. It's, I think it's gonna be awesome. I think it'll be cool if you can, because I haven't done a lot of research on it, and I'm a little bit disappointed in that. But uh, it'd be really cool if you can all four go out and do different missions, and then like come together for, like say a mission somebody's having trouble with, or like taking out some high up ranking guy that you need all four of you for. Yeah, because it's like that's like with like um I hope it has the same kind of idea like in Destiny where you do like the patrol missions and then basically everybody splits up and covers an area and then just kinda of works in that area to yeah. earn whatever it is you're looking for or whatnot. And then if like they have the main events and then everybody tries and tackles that or comes back together or whatnot so yeah i think that oh man it'd be really cool if they made an assassin's creed mmo where you'd have oh, like man. public events like say you could oh my god i just stumbled onto something they need to do make it like world of warcraft people either choose the the uh fudge what like the templars or, or the assassins and then you know like big public events where like each side has to fight to hold like a certain section or take oh, a certain yeah. section. I like, gotta be so freaking yeah, cool. Be fun. But... That'd be awesome. Or like a, a protect and a assassinate kind of thing. Like yeah, yeah. One group's trying to fun. assassinate this high-ranking officer or whatever, and then you guys are assigned to protect him. So you have to like scout out the area and try and catch people and stuff. It'd be really, really fun. I think. Yeah. It'd be badass. Like. Oh, so did you guys... It, nobody could ever get it to work right. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood had the multiplayer, and uh, we would always try to play, but we could never get everybody into one group, because... Oh, uh, yeah, Ubisoft... I played it a little bit with uh, yeah. you and Mark and everyone, and it was just... It was like you would join up, and then all of a sudden you'd be, like, separated. Yeah, into yeah. a different game, you're like, what the hell? Yeah, or like pitted against each other oh yeah or that yeah <laughs> and then for no reason like somebody else's clan gets split up just like yours and it's like two of them are on your team and two of them are on yeah the especially other team. when you have enough players and everything it's yeah. just it was infuriating but what was cool about it is is like the little when you were the hunter you know you had the little sensor ring where you could like be walking near people and uh, you know shank them if you thought it was. Oh person. yeah, yeah. Because the ring would lay all the way up, and I was like, that would work so well in an MMO style thing. Like, if you, once you got into a certain area around people, that it would show where they were on the map. Like in those, uh, you know, protect or assassinate type of missions. Yeah. Be really cool. But yeah, I'm excited for that. Rogue. I'm actually kind of excited because. It's the first game uh, in the Templar side of things. Like, Ian talked about this, because he said, you know, like, the Assassins want no government at all, just, like, anarchy, and the Templars want complete order. But he's like, it would be really cool to see the Templars be the good guys fighting to restore some order during the times of complete anarchy, and then do them vice versa, which I think would be... A lot of fun and that's kind of the step rogue is taking which i think will be cool yeah 
yeah, it would make it for uh, interesting to see the other side of things and how they betro- the portray it and everything like that. No, that's Liberation. Oh, that's the one on the PS Vita. Yeah. Vita right, huh? Yeah. Well, they they just re- they're about to release it on consoles. So. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, and I think that's all I've got to say this week. Uh, except for Master Chief Collection's coming out, and I am excited. Because I'm going to be playing the shit out of Halo 1 maps. Ugh. Shoot. Can't wait to play it. Anyway. Okay. Done? Are you done? <laughs> you done? Okay. I'm done. Good. Bitches be done. Alright. Well, that was Guys of Glass Podcast. And gal. So, uh, it's No Name Josh. Cassie. Robert. We're still going to have to figure out names for you guys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Some German listener. Hans- Hans- <laughs> Hanschuss. <laughs> Hanschuss? Okay. See you guys later. Alright, I'm done. What are you guys. What are you doing, Robert? Robert, what lift up doing? your head for a second. Is that a hickey on your neck, or did you cut.